everybody it's Brian the farmer's life wanted to show you what an ear of corn is worth to a farmer just one single ear and show a little yield calculation what I'm going to do is the yield component method so we're going to measure one one thousandth of an acre I keep this handy J hook on a string in my truck so I got it whenever I want to check a field this string is 17.4 feet long with the hook stretch that out over a row at our 30 inch row spacings that gives us one one thousandth of an acre and we can extrapolate that to a whole acre so let's see how we do that take the hook hook it on stretch the string out and untangle it There we go. Let's count the ears. Good harvestable ears. If you got any little tiny ones, we'll skip those. Thirty ears on one one thousandth of an acre, so that comes to thirty thousand plants per acre. Actually, like to see a couple more there, but we'll talk about that. So let's talk about the yield. We want to pick a random ear from the row. Grab this one. Want to grab a random one. You don't want to go for the best one or the worst one. Just try to be random. Let's pull it open. Start counting the husk off. around and the number of rows kernels on the length of the cob. I've seen some people will count all of them down here at the butt and the tip. Sometimes I skip them. I think that's maybe I want to be a little conservative on a yield estimate. I'd rather be over than I mean over my estimate than under it. So let's count the length. Start here. Call that 38 long. It's pretty good. Crack it open so you can see. Let's count around. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. That's pretty good. Now we'll do a yield calculation. Let's do some tailgate math here and run some numbers. So our ear of corn here was 16 around by 38 long. Six hundred and eight kernels per ear. And on our one one thousandth of an acre, we have thirty ears. So let's put those together. Eighteen thousand two forty. Now you want to use there's a factor in the yield component method use a divisor. We'll use 85 is a good starting point. If you think your crop's better you go down 80, 75. Worse you can go up to, to 90 but usually start around 85. So let's use 85 and see what we get. Two hundred and fourteen point five eight bushels per acre. Pretty good. Of course I'm looking on the outside row of the field here. There could be a lot of variance within the field. Let's see what happens if we add one ear to see what that ear of corn is worth. So we'll take our 608 from this ear up here. Now let's take it times 31. So we have 31,000 ears per acre. Just one more ear. What does that get us? 608 times 31 equals 18, 848. Let's divide that by 85. 
So let's call that pretty close. That's a difference. Seven bushels per acre. At a corn price of four dollars per bushel. That's a twenty-eight dollar gain by getting that one more year. Twenty-eight dollars per acre. So for me, over about eight hundred and fifty acres of corn. 850 times 28 bucks. 23,800 dollars from that one ear. So that one ear can be pretty pretty important. And we'd have a loss going the other way. And actually, I'd kind of like to see that number around 32. So there's quite a bit of money to be made just from that one single ear. That one ear is pretty important and that tells us why planting conditions and setting up our planter correctly is so important that's a lot of money especially when we're down at these prices actually right now we're down about 375 that's getting close to cost of production and you can imagine a couple years ago when we were selling corn year 18 months after the drought of 2012 we had seven dollar corn we sold corn at $8. We even for a short time got a couple of loads in at $9. That would be a huge difference in just that one ear. So it tells you why that one ear is so important. Thanks for watching.